Okay, so I'm just going to go over the fundamentals of a basic body weight squat. If you want something more advanced, you know, barbell squat, you know, jump squat, things like that, uh, box, box jump, you know, all that stuff, you got some different videos. So this will be a little bit more of a beginner video, just talking about the basics of your squat. Uh, it's great body weight exercise, going to work you know, your quads, hamstrings, glutes, all that. Well, I'm going to set it up with a little width that's also going to get some inner thighs. And there's a lot of core stability in this as well, as I want to stabilize my shoulders. Again, we get to like a barbell squat that gets emphasized uh, where I don't tilt, rotate, rock, or anything like that. So I'll show you with a little side angle for now. Uh, talk about it and show uh, with this box a little setup here that can help you with the form. So we're going to have about a shoulder width apart. You know, uh, I'll have a little angle with my toes. That's okay. We don't want anything, anything too crazy, straight, or just a little bit of turn. Okay, and when I do this, I want to keep my belly button drawn in, core tight, spine lengthened, and I want to think about going kind of back more than down. So I want to push my hips to the back, minimize the knees pushing forward, sit nice and low, push through the middle of the feet, the heels. I got my hands in front that helps counterbalance my weight because, again, I'm really pushing my hips to the back. A lot of times you'll see kind of this straight down motion where the knees really drive forward. I'm actually not moving at the hip joint there. Uh, moving more at the ankle joint actually, putting stress on my knee and getting less work in those hands and glutes. So that's what happens when the knees drive forward as I'm moving at the ankle joint. Not really working muscles about the ankle joint. So I want the lower leg stable, push the butt to the back, and now I'm moving at the knees and the hips and working those quads, hands, glutes that we're targeting. If it's really hard to push your hips back, um, sometimes it can be strength. A lot of times it's more of a balance issue or a tightness issue, especially with the depth. Uh, a box comes in handy. So if I do this, I can just get my heels kind of right up on the box and you can adjust the depth, you know, especially if you got knee issues, you're not going to be going probably as low as I was going there. Um, so you can build something up a little bit taller, a chair, just whatever works for you. But this allows me to really push my hips to the back and I feel a little comfortable. You might even have something at first if it's a balance issue where you kind of fall, but that's okay. The box catches you. You'll notice you're strong from down there and then we gain the balance once we do it. So that could be a good little setup there if you're having a little trouble with the free squat. 